What's good guys, it's your boy D Murphy 16 out here telling you to be prepared for this documentary. In this documentary, the topic of gender roles will be discussed. I will be asking people three different questions. One, do you support gay and lesbian people? Two, should the guy go to work while the female remains at home as a housewife? And three, the expectation of a guy at a restaurant is to pull out the chair for the girl. But is it weird if the girl pulls out the chair for a guy? Why or why not? Hmm. The questions in this documentary will be asked amongst numerous East Brunswick High School students. I will be asking students of different ethnicity groups and genders. Question 1. Do you support gay and lesbian people? Excuse me, sir. Do you mind answering a question? Oh, I would love to. All right. Do you support gay and lesbian people? Well, in my opinion, I don't support the idea, but I agree with whatever goes with the people, whatever is good for them, whatever they, whatever idea they hold in their head, they can support that. But in my right mind, I don't support the idea. Yes, I think everybody should have the right to be with who they want to be with. Yes, I think that everyone should have the right to love whoever they want to love, and I think it's very... As long as no one's hurting anybody else, I think you should let people do whatever they're happy, whatever makes them happy. I would say I don't support gay and lesbian people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it like as if like I hate gay people or lesbian people or anything like that, because I have lesbian and gay friends, and I know people that are like lesbian or gay. It's not that I hate them, it's just like the way I was raised, I wasn't like, I, I was taught like guy and girl type of thing, but like I have friends or and I know people that are gay and lesbian, so it's like, I don't have any hatred. It's not like they can't come around me or they can't be themselves around me. I wouldn't call them any type of like derogatory name to offend their sexuality or anything like that. I just, like the way I was raised was just guy and girl, like you know what I mean? I don't have any problem with them living the type of lifestyle that they live, you know, if they're happy, then that's all that should matter, it shouldn't matter whether I, if I support them or not, you know what I mean? But I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like, disrespect them or anything like that. No. Why not? Because I think that God made us as two different genders for a reason. Of course, because, you know, that's, like, their general, like, preference, and everyone has preferences on everything that they do, so... Of course I'm going to support someone for being who they want to be. You know, it's not harming anyone else. It's their own thing, and that's beautiful. Yeah. I asked a few other people that same exact question. They were a diverse group, and actually a decent amount of them said no, but they want to remain anonymous. So to the people that said no in this previous question, my question to them is, is it expected for everyone to be heterosexual? Yes, because when you're born, you're not, you don't, you don't think that you're supposed to like your own gender. It's a choice that you make when you grow up. Oh, sir, um, one more question. Oh, what's up? Um, is your expectation of people to be uh, heterosexual? Uh, I would say so. Because man is supposed to be with woman. That's the way... God created, that's the way man made, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Question two, should the guy go to work while the female remains at home as a housewife? Um, well, I feel like women have made a really big push toward being equal with men, and part of that is working. Um, guys do a lot of work, girls do a lot of work, and in the new century, um, we see a lot more working together to provide for a family. So the whole um, women staying at home, um, it doesn't like um, really uh, matter anymore. It uh, doesn't matter who works. Like my parents, my dad does a lot of work at home. He cooks, um, but he also goes out to work. My mom, same thing, laundry, you know, stuff around the house, but she also works. Um, so in the new century, it's all like they're equal more. So um, I think it depends on who makes more money, actually. And, um, like, whoever has the higher paying job should be out working. And if the other person needs a job, that's okay, too. 
Um, no, I strongly disagree with that. I think that's kind of like bull. I know that like in the past it's been expected that like we stay home with our children, but now we have and we should have more of an equal opportunity to work like men do. I don't want to stay home with my children. <laughs> like I want to like work and make my own money. And I think that by females working, we gain more independence than we had in the past. So yeah, no, I disagree with that. You, you know, it depends. Like they can, but like that's for them to decide. Like, you know, if they want to do that or they want to have, you know, a household with two working parents or a household with a stay at home dad and mom who works, that's all fine. Like. It, you shouldn't have to be one way or the other. It should just, you know, be like a if whatever they want to do, whatever works best for their situation, you know? Question three. The expectation for a guy at a restaurant is to pull out the chair for the girl. But is it weird if the girl pulls out the chair for the guy? No. Why? Because I think, like, it's just being polite, like, pulling a chair out for somebody... I don't think like any, but any like gender should like be the, per the one to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that though. I feel like it's not traditional. Um, I think it's acceptable, but it would be a little bit uncomfortable with me personally. I think I wouldn't do that. I got you. Got you. I mean, I think it's not really weird. Why? Because it's. I, I think it's dependent. Like it depends on the comfortable level they are with each other and how they feel about each other. If they are fine with it. I don't think it, I don't think it really doesn't matter if that's weird or not. I don't think like if they're comfortable with each other and the and a girl thinks that's, that's the right thing to do, the guy's fine with it. It's it's, it's fine for me and it works for me. No. Why? Because I feel like things are equal now. So if a girl pulls it out, it's whatever. Conclusion time. All right. So you already know for the first question there was some mixed results. The second question, people said it's up to the wife and the husband if they want to do that or not and the third question a lot of people said no so my conclusion is that gender roles are starting to really die down and it's really just up to the person and everything is equal but the only thing i would say in general maybe is some new things coming up like the gay and lesbian topic because as you saw in the first question that had a lot of mixed results so there are some gender role expectations still around but most of them are actually really disappearing you already know it's your boy D Murphy 16 out here finishing that documentary and I just have one final question for you guys now do you think gender role is dying or does it still exist all right so I got one question for you mm -hmm. are those girl shoes or guy shoes uh, don't disrespect the Yeezys please thank you these are infamous and um, I don't even need to answer that question because it's an insult to the reference the Thank you. So what is the difference then between a girl Yeezy and a guy Yeezy then? A girl Yeezy would be uh, something along the lines of, uh, I don't know. <laughs>